Hello, Active Sage here on the Sage channel. It is Sleep, Art, Game, and Eat. And today I'm showing off these little random things that I built. And they're actually inspired by the Sea Snake, a ship that I actually built ages ago using landing gears where it had section connected to section. And when I moved the cockpit, the whole thing wibbled and wobbled and it was pretty strange and funny. So I decided, hey, why don't I build the same thing? But let's use gyro. So here we go. This is a basic one where what you see is what you get. I just basically have the cockpit there, engines to go in every direction. We got our forward and our backwards and two reactors in the middle and a bunch of gyroscopes stuck to the bottom. By the way, that'll be the same for each one of these cockpit sections. And then on these, I just have the rotors going as such to connect all these pieces together. That way when I move, it'll get a swimming thing and there's nothing special set up about any of those. I just put them in. So if I was to hop in here, go in the third person that way we can see and we'll just turn. And instantly you can see I've basically pulled it and tossed it and it's collided with me. So now if I start moving, it's all going to get very, very strange very, very quickly. And pretty cool though. It's sort of like a big metal chain and less of a snake almost. You can see here we wibble and wobble and there's a bit of a ripple. But I can't get much in it and it's actually as it flings past and snaps like a whip almost. So let's do that. Let's get sort of like a whip. We'll stop and go back. It's pretty cool. I like it. But it's uh, pretty hard to control and not exactly snake-like, more of whippish-like. So that's not exactly the best thing ever, even though wah, it's pretty cool and very interesting to watch. But if we come over to this one here that's already curled up, which I actually like pretty much, it curled up pretty much perfectly to the start point. Now, I didn't even intend that, it just happened. But if we were to hop in here now, and I'll try reversing out of it, these rotors I went through and actually set each of them to only have a 45 degree basically 90 degrees of freedom facing outwards here's a little graphic I can toss up so there you go that shows exactly how they're set up and they're set up inside if I was to actually go to them in here is like this so they're basically set up like that that way I get 90 degrees anyway so this one if I do this you get more of the actual sort of snake sort of thing Ooh, unless it just flings out and spazzes out. But yeah, there you go. You can sort of get these like snakish ripples. Probably best if I do this while moving forward. It's it's pretty weird actually and a bit glitchy and wonky and it still tosses me about. It's it's interesting. I'd like to connect two larger ships and maybe just try the like tugboat with maybe like oh I can't exactly figure out how I do it. Oh okay, I could. Maybe four of these chains, you get four people and small ships trying to tugboat some larger structure. I think that would be a lot of interesting ish. But you can see there is, if I try to fly forward and get a bit of a snake sort of ripple into it, it ends up still doing that whip thing at the end. And so you end up with some trouble there when it snaps and pulls you back. Now the last one I have to show here, the last sneeze, sea snake mark two, not sneeze snake, is this one here where I've actually put in an extra little block here, that way it can rotate pretty much in any way it likes, in three dimensions, instead of just two, as those are. And I haven't actually tested this one yet, so I'm going to hop in here and just pretty much floor it, and we'll see what happens. I can bet it's going to be ridiculous. Oh, and already it's wibbling and wobbling, and whoa. Ooh, I actually quite like the way that looks. Oh, and now, of course, it's flung past me. Let's try going in just a straight line without turning, shall we? And you can see the whole thing is actually elongated a tiny bit. Okay, okay. We're good, we're good. No harm done, no harm done. <laughs> and you can see it's flinging all about on itself. It's a lot of fun, it's pretty cool. Um, yeah. Wow, it's, this one actually seems to handle the best, I guess because it's no locking points, and then of course it's in three dimensions, so it's not being torqued up and around and then snagging and pulling the whole ship about. So it's actually better, the handling on this one than the others. Even though it's still a bit wonky and ridiculous, it's uh, better. Huh. Anyway, I just wanted to show these random little things. I thought they were pretty cool and fun. Uh, you can see some bending. Actually, no, the metal is all holding up pretty well. It looks pretty ridiculous at the same time, but I don't know, pretty cool. Anyway, I just wanted to show this ridiculous stuff. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.